Internet infrastructure companies are calling for the end of an era. They want to internationalize the backbone systems that make up the Internet and reduce the U.S.'s historically preferential role in their operation. In a statement from a recent conference in Montevideo, Uruguay, ICANN, the IETF, and W3C said the recent revelations of pervasive monitoring and surveillance should drive renewed efforts to globalize the Internet. The U.S. is not mentioned by name, but it's clear these organizations are worried about the NSA's recently revealed activities. ICANN, which maintains the IP addresses and domain names for huge swaths of the Internet, is a private organization contracted to many of its duties and largely overseen by the U.S. Commerce Department. But there have been repeated calls for its decentralization over the years, citing concerns with its one-sided oversight. The latest from the Montevideo conference is the loudest yet and came from within ICANN itself. Softpedia explains the U.S. has managed to shrug these calls off so far because keeping ICANN in the U.S. does have certain benefits for anyone using the Internet. Handing over control of the Internet to countries with obvious problems with free speech is problematic. Meanwhile, in the U.S., ICANN benefits from strong First Amendment protection, which guarantees free speech. But it's not necessarily a permanent arrangement. Brazilian President Duma Rousseff, an outspoken critic of the NSA spying programs, met with ICANN President Fadi Shahade a day after the Montevideo conference. They planned a 2014 meeting in which they would start laying plans for a new system of Internet governance. It's a first step, but all things D points out, there are plenty still to go. There is no replacement sketched out anywhere, and it will probably take a few years to get one up and running. Either way, now would be a good time to start getting educated on how the changes might affect you. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn, Multiple Sources, A Broader View.